Hello, this is Adam Rodriguez, owner manager of White Cell Invac. I invite you to our new location at 3848 Ryan Street. We offer sales, parts, repairs on all vacuum cleaners and sewing machines, and we have a huge variety of floor care products. Come visit me and my team and see why White Cell Invac should be your one stop for your sewing and floor care needs. Hi, I'm Rachel Whitaker, sports writer at the Late Charles American Press, and welcome to another edition of Prep Spotlight here on AmericanPress.com. I'm coming to you from Iowa High School, where the Yellow Jackets baseball team is preparing for its first state tournament since 2008. The Yellow Jackets are the number five seed in the playoffs for the third straight season, and they faced their toughest test yet on Saturday in the quarterfinals against number four Loyola Prep on the road in Shreveport. In the game, senior pitcher Philip LeBlue threw 138 pitches, showing a stamina and leadership that propelled Iowa to an eight-inning victory and the chance to try for its first state championship in five years. Once I got to the seventh, I was worn down, but for the better of the team, I just I knew I had to stay in there and I knew I had to battle in there. I trusted my coaches with what they were calling and we ended up getting the win, so it was huge for us. So what did it mean that uh, Coach Richard left you in there for the eighth inning? That he trusted me, that he knew I was going to get it done. Um, even though I was worn down, he still had confidence in me, which means a lot for me, coaches. Yeah. LeBlue is 9-4 and four so far on the season and also set in motion Iowa's eighth inning rally with his bat on Saturday. Iowa head coach Sean Richard told me LeBlue's intensity okay. and skill on the mound set Iowa apart and make him a great anchor for the team. He's a great leader out here for the young guys. Uh, and just a fierce competitor when it comes to the baseball field. Right, right. And how valuable has that been to have him as one of the seniors to maybe guide some of the younger kids? On the oh, I mean, we had little kids running around Shreveport with his, their number on their back. You know, and these, some of these kids don't realize, you know, the role, the role that they play to our young guys. And, and but uh, feels a good one. Iowa has another pitching gem in junior Gabe Roberts, who's 8-0 on the year and also helped Iowa turn its season in the right direction. Now they've won six straight and pride themselves on strong fundamentals, which Richard said they'll definitely need against number eight Larranger, their semifinal opponent. It finally came to us that after district was, was the playoffs and I mean, first round we could have lost and our year would have been over. So I guess working and playing, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. So getting getting through the playoffs, we didn't want our season to end. I know the seniors don't either. So right, Our right. guys are they're really excited. You know, these kids, have, they didn't come in as one of the most talented teams ever to play at Iowa High School, but they're shaping up to be one of the best teams to ever play at Iowa High School because their work ethic and they are. They become very coachable. They, they bought into the way we do things and uh, and, and winning for Iowa High School is their number one goal. Thanks for watching another edition of Prep Spotlight here on AmericanPress.com. Keep checking AmericanPress.com for more prep features and continuing coverage and Twitter updates from the state tournament in Sulphur this weekend. And don't forget to pick up an American Press print edition every day for in-depth coverage of high school, college, and professional sports. For now, from Iowa High School, I'm Rachel Lerker.